Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So, in previous video, we saw how to install and getting started with GitLab Runner. And today, we are going to learn about GitLab CI CD. If you do not have any prior knowledge on GitLab CI CD, don't worry, I'll go very basic step by step. So, in this session, we will learn what is GitLab CI CD. Then, we will create a dot gitlab ci dot yml document this is the file where you we where we add our job and we create a pipeline and don't worry i'll show you how to do that and then we will run ci cd pipeline in our gitlab so this is going to be very easy and very interesting so let's start the session so first, what is CI CD? So here, as you can see, we have this continuous integration. So CI stands for continuous integration. Then we have continuous delivery, that is CD and continuous deployment, which is again CD. This is what we called CI CD. Now here, if you look at continuous integration, this is the process where we have these three jobs or these three processes chain and link with each other. By linked, I mean if this was dev process or a dev job runs and passes, then it will trigger the next job. And that is that is in the test job application test. If this passes, it will trigger then the next job that is integration test and we will have our continuous integration pipeline completed so this is what is called as ci or continuous integration and if this all these jobs in this cycle are chained with each other and our automated trigger we call it as continuous integration system now if we also add a acceptance test job or acceptance test process which is also automated and linked then this becomes a continuous delivery because after this step our application or our product will be ready for delivery so this becomes continuous delivery and if we also add our deployment job or deployment process that will reply to the production and all these jobs are automated and chained and can be automatically triggered then this becomes a continuous deployment pipeline so this is what we call as continuous integration and continuous delivery and continuous deployment now in gitlab as well we have this continuous integration delivery and deployment and here this gitlab ci is an open source ci service or a continuous integration service included with gitlab and by default this is integrated with every project in your gitlab since version 8.0 so if you are using version 8.0 or above gitlab then in your old project by default you will have gitlab ci integrated and enabled by default and to go to the setting and to configure gitlab ci you should be a maintainer or a owner or a admin on your project so now let's go to my gitlab account so this is my gitlab account and here you can see i am the maintainer of one project and the owner of the another another project so it means I can configure GitLab CI CD. Now, to actually create a GitLab CI CD pipeline, we will have to add a file called .gitlab CI .yml. So, YML is a file format of writing text files, and like JSON and XML, YML is also a format. And we have to create this file in the root folder or our project or repository 
So whatever is the root folder, we have already created a project in earlier session. So for creating a file, I am going to use Visual Studio Code Editor. So this is my Visual Studio Code Editor. Now to create a file, I will just give some name of the job. So I will say demo job one and any name you can give here and give a colon. Go to the next line and I will give five spaces here. You can give any number of spaces, but you have to be consistent with that. So now I will say tags and here give a colon again. Go to next line, give two spaces and I will give a hyphen and space and I can give any tag here. Now tags are important because in your GitLab, you will be having the GitLab runners and they have some tags and the tags should be match only then the GitLab runner will run this particular file and we have already learned about GitLab runner in the earlier session. So in my account, if I go to my project on GitLab and here if I go to setting and here go to CI CD and here we have runner. Here I'll click on expand and here you can see we had created this runner earlier and we had given this tags CI and SSH. So I should be having one of these tags so that the runner can pick up this file and run it. So here let me say CI here and I'll go again to next line and here I will say script and colon and this is in line with text again go to next line two spaces and I'll say hyphen one space and I'll say echo hello world so this is very simple file where I am running the script echo hello world now I will save this file and here the name should be dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yml and I am going to save this file in my project folder. Now our next step will be commit and push file to our gitlab repository. So again in my project folder here if I say cmd so it will open the command prompt with this file location. Now if I say here git status you can see it say this file not yet added. So now I will say git add and then dot. So this is going to add all file to our gitlab repository. So if I again say git status, I should see it in green. So it means now it is added. And now I will say git commit minus m. And here write commit message. So I will say added dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yml file. So now I will push. So for push, I will say git push minus u. And here in double quote, I'll paste my project URL and then I'll write master. And now this should push the changes. So let's check. So here is my project and here you can see it is here so i have successfully pushed the changes and now we have to create gitlab runner for our project and we have already created gitlab runner in a previous session so if you are not yet seen that video please go 
watch that first so since we have created a folder now we have to start the runner so here i will say gitlab hyphen runner dot exe and then simply start so here it is now started now here our next step is to make changes in our project and then commit and then push so let me make some changes here so in my project folder here i'll create a new file let me say text file so i'll say here test one dot txt and in this file i will say this is a test file and i will save and simply close this file now again i go to my command prompt and here i will say git status we have to edit so i will say git add and then dot for adding everything right now i will say git commit minus m and in the commit message message i will say edit test1 dot txt and now we have to push so i will say git push minus u and the url and then master and first in our gitlab project so here is my gitlab project click on ci cd and here you can see this jobs getting triggered in the job section so let me push it and i'll show you in my project if i refresh this it is now successfully created and now on every commit and push in the project it will check if we have a gitlab runner running and we have ci file the gitlab ci file and it will run the file and whatever job we have added whatever scripts we have added it will run accordingly so from now from now onwards whenever you make any changes it will trigger these jobs whatever you have configured in your file so this is in very basic way how you can get started with gitlab ci cd of course there are lot of com complex yml file that you can create as per your need if you go to the gitlab documentation you will see example and samples of a lot lot of yml file and you can check them and see how you can use them so that's it for this session i hope all this was very useful for you and hope you enjoying this series if you have any doubt or any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i will try to answer you as soon as i can so thank you for watching bye and have a nice day